Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another episode of Technical Difficulties. And we are in a different area than last time and we also look quite a bit differently than last time. Uh, last time I was uh, in default texture but now I've decided to upgrade so that my videos can hopefully look much better. And I've upgraded to Sfax which is quite amazing I'd have to say. It's definitely a pretty damn good uh, texture pack so you know so that's what I'm gonna be sticking to from now on and I hope that you appreciate what I am doing because just look at it and as far as the new location I decided that that while the village it was good I enjoyed the village I, I had plans for the village <coughs> but I noticed that I wasn't in location of any any like oil or volcanoes and you know I know some people don't really you know care to use or you know make oil refineries or use geothermal facilities and stuff like that but I like to use natural you know, you know the stuff that the Minecraft world you know dredges up from the deep I like using that kind of stuff so we got a, a volcano here not you know, not the world's most grand volcano, but there's lava, and I can only assume how deep that goes. Let me just look at this. It looks so good. And, actually, let me get a better look here. Whee! But yeah, as you can see, there's a volcano, so, you know, it's good. It's good. And it overlooks a swamp. How wonderful. And there is a, an oil... Uh, deposit here. Again, not the greatest, but how deep does it go? And man, look at that. That one's spilling out all over the place. And also, there's another oil deposit here. And this one is, again, not very big, but is it's it's pretty good because I'm in close vicinity to two oil deposits and a volcano. So I have, have some good old fossil fuel here and some geothermal capabilities in the future. So, yeah, and this is a this is a beautiful mountain. This is just I mean, amazing. Look at this. It it just overlooks uh, the ocean. It's just a beautiful valley and has a nice cave system in there that I've I've actually spent a lot of time off camera uh, exploring this area. And honestly, I'm I'm not really gonna share it because I, nothing nothing happened. I did a lot of mining because I really oh hello kitty, I really wanted to look for some diamonds so I can make a an energy an energy condenser because honestly, what I have planned is gonna take a lot of stuff. And here's my bed. I had to move my bed up here. Because a fox kept knocking me off my bed and waking me up in the middle of the night. But yeah, so here's my little little setup. So you see, I haven't really, I haven't built anything. I haven't nestled anywhere. I've just made some chests out in the open and some iron furnaces and a couple furnaces to uh, fuel all this. So, you know, I've done a lot of uh, cobble and you know I've got a lot of stone brick now. And I'm going to. I think the first thing we're gonna make. The very first thing I think we need to make is a watchtower. So, and then from there we will make our keep. I'm going to make a beautiful fortress that will house all of my technical gizmos and failures, I'm sure. But over here, let me go fly over here. I, this will be the only time I ever use creative, I, most likely. Um, I'm just using it to fly, but over here is where we're going to put the watchtower. As you can see, it overlooks the ocean. It's beautiful. And it's very loud and windy up here, but I'm I'm very pleased with this. I, I can do a lot of awesome stuff with this. It's not it's it's not very sound for Technic, but I think we can make it work. I mean, how awesome would it see it be a see? How awesome would it be to see a quarry oh, down there? Because that's what I want. I want a quarry just right down in that beautiful valley. 
piping up shit into my fortress, which I'm not too sure the layout about. But I think once they get this watchtower all, uh, you know, hammered out, I think that uh, we'll, we'll definitely be able to have a good plan for the fortress. But for now, I think I'm going to get out of uh, creative here. Just down. And we're going to put all of our goodies away. Cause see, look, I, I mined a lot of stuff. And it, it's, I mean, I spent a long time last night, like mining, gathering, and just preparing for this. And unfortunately, I didn't find a single fucking diamond. So no energy condenser now, but we'll worry about that after the watchtower is built. And I found this stuff too, which I think is some kind of fuel, but I'm not too sure. So if anybody knows what this uh, creosote bottle is, just uh, let me know. I need a. Uh, oh, oh, this chest is full. So yeah, I'm just gonna put all my goodies away. I'm just gonna keep my torches, my food, my sword. I'm going to take all these beautiful stone bricks. And actually, I do need a, a, a new pick. So I'm going to use my sapphire and stuff. Uh, uranium. Emerald. We'll go with green. And a shovel. Why not? Alright, so... I'm going to make this stuff and then I'm gonna cut away and then we're going to have a good fun time with a beautiful time lapse and some music while I build my fortress over here so yeah see you in a bit
it, and that is as much as I'm going to work on it this episode, but it's... I mean, it's... I'm not too sure what else I'm going to do. I mean, I don't know. Uh, let's take a look. Let's take a look from the bottom. Pretty nice, pretty pretty imposing. I'll ride this. Oh, that's uh, I like that. Yeah, that looks good. Nice. Well, it's the first productive thing I've done in this entire series. So, with this, I bid you farewell, and see you next time.